Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna keep this. Uh, try and keep this short and sweet. Uh, there have been um, a big development in America over the ban of gay marriage. Um, this is something I completely find disgusting. It is, I think, immoral. It is unfair. And I approve of gay marriage. I am going to stand here as a heterosexual male and stand and say I approve of gay marriage. I think two women and two men who love each other should have the same rights as two sex straight people who fucking hate each other's guts but still are allowed to get married because it says in the Bible that it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Let me just say something. The Bible says a lot of shit, doesn't it? It says that a snake came down the tree and spoke to Adam and Eve and told them to eat the apples off the magical fucking tree. Sorry, but isn't doesn't that not make a little bit doesn't that not make sense at all in a two thousand year old book that we that do you know what's funny? That people actually still read and still believe that there was a magical man floating around right now in the clouds who is disapproved of gay who dis approves a gay marriage. Let me ask you something. If gays are so wrong, how come God hasn't killed them all? You may say, oh, he's doing it one gay at a time, he's giving them AIDS, he's done this. No! See, God would have killed them all in one fucking go. Alright then, if, get, if God didn't want us to be gay, how come we have free will to be gay? How come we have the feelings of being gay? Do you know what? I say to people, you know, if if we didn't have those feelings, then you know what? We wouldn't be gay. We wouldn't be lesbian. But you know what's sad? For people who are so narrow-minded to not even go, do you know what? Maybe I need to understand that these are people too who have feelings just like I do. You know when someone in their family dies, they cry just like you would if someone in your family died. They feel love. And they feel heartbreak when that person they love and care about and cherish breaks up with them. They feel all the same fucking things as we do. Yet one thing, actually two things they can't do, get married and adopt children. Because adopting children, oh, their child may get bullied. We need to open up our child's minds as well to the fact that there are people out there who both male and two men and two women can be together and make them understand from a young age I'm not saying when they're like little kids I'm not saying five years old I'm saying when they're a bit more mature to understand and go do you know what you may one day have feelings but these are not things you should suppress these are things you need to explore and to see if you still have these feelings so that one day when they're older they don't feel like they have to suppress those feelings like they have to hide them I tell any person now watching, if you have those sort of feelings, don't suppress them. Open your mind up and to go out and see places. Go out and go to a gay club. Go to a gay night club. Do whatever you have to do to meet other people like yourself. And to help them so they can help you open your mind. So you can see if you do still feel those feelings that you do. Because I will be honest here on YouTube, I did think I was bisexual. I thought I was bisexual at one point. I had all these feelings, these different feelings, and, you know, I had these feelings and I thought, well, I may as well explore them, and I did. And you know what? I feel as though I've explored them, but I'm not, I'm not bisexual. I am a, I realize I still like women. I am very happy with the, the choice I made, but at least I explored my feelings. At least I explored my options. But you know what, I'd say to any one of you, don't hide your feelings, don't suppress them. Like I said, go out and find out what you are. Whether you're gay, whether you're lesbian, whether you're bisexual, you have a right to be whatever you want. Don't let your family scare you. Don't let anybody scare you or intimidate you, telling you it's wrong that you feel the feelings you do because they are the ones that are wrong they are the ones that should be supporting you no matter what so I ask anybody out there if you have a family member or a friend a good close friend 
who said to you, they're gay, and you were in support of the gay marriage ban, what would you do? Would you tell them? Would you support them? Say, do you know what? I'll be there for you. I'm not going to. I'm not going to stand with them who want to ban it. I'm going to stand with you and help you so you can be happy. Or you can say, no, just because you're gay, just because you're my friend, just because you're a family member, I'm going to stand with them and ban it so that people like you cannot be happy. That's the decision up to you. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and every single one of you who, have, who are new to my videos for watching this. Please do share this around, do get this out as much as you can. Gay marriage needs to be approved. It needs to be. If we can approve of gay marriage, not just in America, but in other countries, we can help. We can move a step forward in the right direction. Sure, some people may not be happy, but we'll, we'll, jump, we'll reach that obstacle when we do. But it's time to take a step forward into the 21st century, instead of going back in time. If it's not, if it's banning gay marriages now, what's going to happen next? Two men and two women, who, two men that sleep with each other, or two women that sleep with each other, are going to be executed because it's not right. It's unnatural. Please, guys, share this around. Get this out there. I want to thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Jeff Hardy, two K five. As always, um, I don't know if I'll be any, doing any more wrestling videos. I'm, I don't really keep up anymore. Um, I might do more blogs, like just blogs, you know, but thank you guys so much for watching this video, uh, like I said, please do share this around and get the word out there, to all the homophobics, that's for you, fuck you, and to all the gay people, keep fighting, keep fighting, you know, like I said, keep fighting, <laughs> I've said that like three times now, like, yeah, keep fighting, because you always have me. No, wait. Just remember, I'm always there fighting with you. Alright. Thank you so much, like I said, guys, for watching. I'll see you soon. Peace.